Baiji. That was the language that came out of the man's mouth. Because there was a garden in which they said she can never have a child. There was a garden in which they say, as long as we are alive, this woman will not be pregnant for this man. And God in himself showed his mightiness and told them, I am God. And he was really, really, he really, really did what he's supposed to do as my own God. I know what your God wants to do for you tonight. You are keen into that thing. And I know it will happen. And he told me things that if I start to say from now on, I don't think we'll have this fellowship. But the last one he told me, I begin to shiver. I ran to the church, called my pastor's wife. I said, come and hear what I have heard. They have agreed. They said, this woman will never be pregnant. But well, I don't know. Oh, let me not jump gun. When I took him, it was even an accident that made me know I was pregnant. I told my pastor, I said, oh, God has answered our prayer. I said, yes. Oh, he shouted, he screamed. He said, no, 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 you have to come around. We've got to pray for three days so that the pregnancy will be, you know, will remain and nothing will happen to it. So, good. I went to the church. We're together with the pastor's wife. We prayed for three days. We were praying. The third day, we were going to church. Actually, I went to the pastor's house. We were coming to church. The wife was driving. We now had an accident. It was terrible. The car actually flew. I don't know. Have you ever entered James Bond film? Have you ever watched the James Bond film? James Bond. You know how it, how it is? The car will leave the road. We will be flying. It happened. Real life. Real life. I saw the car right on, in the air. You know what I just did? I just closed my eyes. I said, God, unto your hands I commit my spirit. If this thing will happen, I don't want to see it. Let me just go gently. It was after then... We even hit somebody walking along the road and the car was badly damaged, but nothing happened to me. And nothing happened to the pregnancy. It was bad. So we, 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 we continued. After three, the, the guy that saw me in the office was coming three consecutive days telling me what happened how they sent somebody to send me out of the house, how they planned that I would not remain in that house. But each time they tried it, there's somebody waiting at the door telling them it is not just possible. You cannot do anything to this girl. And on the, on, to cut the long story short, I had a Jiro on a Thursday morning. I, I actually traveled to the UK to have her. On um, by Sunday night, I got a call from somebody that said, Oh, they've been trying to reach my husband and that they want to apologize to him for everything they have done. I said, Why? He said, My husband is refusing to hear from anybody. I said, Okay, when he calls me, I'll let him know because he we came we came to the UK together and now went back because of his work. I had to remain to have the baby. So when he called me, I said, come, oh, they'll be looking for you. Somebody said they want to apologize to you. He now sent me to that person. He said, tell that person to tell God, sorry, not me. Because it is God that is our work. Oh. Okay? So when he called me, I said, come, oh, your brother said, you should tell God that sorry, not him. We got on like that. I had this baby. By Thursday, somebody ran mad. By Sunday, I got the information that somebody ran mad after I had the baby. What I want to say tonight is, whoever that wants to stop you from prospering, whoever that wants to stop that miracle or the plans of God to come to fulfillment in your life, that the God of heaven, the God that made the heart and the, and the heavens will come mightily and will deal with us. Please, can you stand up and pray? Go on tonight. I stand and I came to this testimony. Is there anyone blocking me from getting what you have designed for me? That tonight, 
The end must come to such powers that God, you should fight the battle because you are the only one that can fight and no one can change the situation. That God, in your mightiness, attend to my situation. Tell him, tell him, he's the only one that can do it. Please tell him, as you have done it before, you can do it again. Anyone that is blocking you and your search for job, anyone that is blocking you and a good wife, anyone that is blocking you and a good husband, anyone that is blocking you and refusing you to be promoted, God in heaven should come and fight your battle. God in heaven should come and attend to your situation. He is the only one that no one can ask him questions. Because it is unquestionable. He is God. 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 He can do all things. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we appreciate you for this. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Can we be seated? I'm sorry I'm asking you to stand, but I think we need to have to pray. Because that is the purpose of sharing testimonies. Because we key to it and ask God for our own. The Lord fought for me, and I was so amazed. There's something I want us to draw out of this. Immediately I have this baby. And we started on with our life. And there was a real turn around. Everything about me changed. Everything about my family changed. When it comes to money, we don't ask God before we get it. I am telling you, I stand, I stand on this ground to, to say to you that anything I need, if I just ask God, right from the moment God fought that battle, and I was able to get pregnant, and I was able to have the baby, my life, get, I just got a turn around. Even though I did not change job, but it was then that my name was remembered. It was then they opened the door. Oh, I commend her. Oh, yo, she can do it. Let her go to this office. She can do it. Let us give her, give her this assignment. By his grace, I'm, I'm a chartered accountant in Nigeria. I got qualified years back. But then they, they put me where they put the other. They did not even recognize that I exist. But immediately I had the baby. Even when I was pregnant, I could remember the did I say, but a certain assignment that people normally go to the mountain to pray for them to give them. For me, I was pregnant and I was hiding it, you know? When you have been waiting for 10 years, I was without a child and I was into a marriage. And suddenly I got pregnant. You know, you know how mothers here, you know what I'm talking about. You will start, is it true? You look at yourself again. As the tummy is protruding, you'll be wondering, ah, come, I'll call my husband. Are you sure I'm pregnant? <laughs> Is it showing at all? You know, it, it was that bad. So, I got pregnant and I was really hiding. I, was, I didn't want my boss to know, but I'll come. Luckily, I was very strong. My, I could walk without problems. I, I wasn't spitting. I wasn't sleeping. So, it, it's only my husband, maybe my pastor, and myself that I knew I was pregnant and my, and my sister. So, I'll go to work. I'll do my work. Suddenly, they transferred the person edging that unit. And my boss called me. He said, Mr. Paul, no, and then I went on leave. I told him I wanted a flexible leave. He said, no, 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 no. I need you to work for me. I need you, blah, 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 you know. I said, for God, please. Okay, can you make it flexible? If you can't give me leave, then I come anytime I want and leave anytime I like, at least for the next two weeks. He grudgingly admitted but I needed that time to rest because it was then I realized I was pregnant. So I, he agreed, so I left for the eve. But I would come as I promised. Every other day, come maybe resume work like 10, you know. It was a bit flexible. So one of my trips to the office, and I said, no, I'm calling you back. Ah. I said, God, why now? He said, yes, they've transferred also pressing and you are going to take charge. You will see me here managing my health. I said, no problem, sir. No problem, sir. When I married to him, he said, immediately. Oh. I said, okay, can I go today? He said, okay, yeah, but tomorrow we will resume work. So I resumed. 
I started working till I went on mat leave. But right from that moment, my life changed. My everything about me changed. I I don't know how God did it. I didn't do anything extraordinary, but I know everything that has is like it's been locked up. God just opened it. Is it your blessing or your command take? Oh, your children are be they kept it clear take. You know, that was how so I want you to stand up and pray again. Lord, is there anywhere my blessings are locked? Oh, yeah, go right then now. Go on now and use your mighty knife to open that door. Force it open. Use fire and thunder. Open it. Pray in the name of Jesus. Tell God, where is your blessing, God? Who has locked it? Who is that person? Who is that person? Who is that power? Tell me the name of the power. Because I know that it's above that power that is the name of Jesus. Father, I ask you, is, where is my blessing? Where are they hidden? We have put their God. Protect them for me. Tell God, tell God, tell God. He's the only one that can take it from that powerful man. Because our own God is more powerful. Get into this testimony and tell God to release your own blessings to you. Tell God, tell him, tell him. He is our father. We don't have any other one. Tell him, tell him. He is the only one that can get that blessing out. We are ever in you. Lord, Lord, tell him, cry unto him. Cry unto him. Cry unto him. It is an opportunity to talk to God. He is my sisters and brothers. It is an opportunity to ask of your need. The Bible says, ask and it shall be given unto you. He says, knock and the door shall be opened. He says, you should seek and you will find. Tell him, Lord, I'm knocking at that door. Open that door where yeah, my blessings are hidden. Release them unto me. Release my promotion for me. That good job I've been longing for. Release it. Release it. Release it. He is the Lord that can do all things. He is stable. He is able. He is able. He is able to deliver those that trust in Him. He is the Lord and the mighty Jehovah. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Can we be seated? I'm sorry I'm bothering you. But I think we should pray. That is the purpose of us fellowshipping with one another. Uh, because the Bible says we should knock at that door. It says he's willing and able and he do all things. And that's why we should tell God. And let me go on with my testimony so that I will not lose track. Um, the door began to open and suddenly I was remembered. Everything they want, now they want to talk about some controllers in my office. Oh, they say, oh, they call me a uh, controller of controllers, I would laugh. Suddenly, you know, <laughs> somebody that you don't even recognize before suddenly became somebody that, um, even when the chairman of FRS wants to talk in Nigeria today and he wants to talk about Lagos, you remember that there is one that commander somewhere in City Hall. That is God for you. That is God for you. And before we go, brethren, if there's nothing you want to take away from here, Please take it that anything that God says he will do, he will do. He is a covenant keeping God. And don't think can change that. Because the Lord says that I will not be a barren woman. And that was why God made it possible for me to have a Jirogene. And what is the main name, meaning of a Jirogene? Come, let's praise the Lord. That's the name. And forever his praises will remain in our mouth. And that is why I will tell you, my sisters and brothers present here, I had this baby in 2000. And to today, I've never regretted having her. When it comes to our studies, she's number one. She was even given double promotion at a time. When I go to our school, I don't, even, I don't have sleepless night over her. Because it is God's provision. Yes. What I'm saying in essence is this. When God gives you a thing, yes. there is no but there. Hallelujah. There is just no but. It is perfect. Yes. 
When she wanted to enter uh, higher school, <laughs> oh, go to school, she would go there and she would excel. Without blinking. Even when I went to France, oh, I'm not going to give you this. He said, Mommy, I promised that I made it. So you are owing me. You know, like that. It's like a commitment. So I want us to be very faithful to God. If we want God to move in our lives. And anything that God gives you is permanent. Yeah. That much I can say here. When it comes to marriage, I will, if I say thank you, God, I will, I will remember my husband because no matter what, he stood by me. Even when they said I should start flying and leave the house, anybody that says that will become his enemy immediately. That was the way it was. Without even me knowing, he stood his ground. And to, to, today now, we can stand together and say, God, we exalt your name. Amen. And that is why after having harm, yeah, my promotion, without blinking, I get them. Everything, I just, I must tell you, everything at all. Is there anything I need? When I go on my knees and ask, oh God, this is what I want. I will just get it. As if I was not praying for the past 10 years. I was praying. I was going to the mountain top. For me, yeah, one time called me, said, Auntie, is it me that's talking from getting pregnant? I said, why now? He said, maybe it's because I'm too close to you. Maybe because I stay in your house. I said, am I the one blocking your children from coming? I said, no. I said, go pray. For me, I thank God for you tonight. That you are standing here and I'm here with my baby to see you. In your husband's house. It is a good testimony. When Alex came and introduced Alex to me, I said, Alex, are you the one marrying my daughter? I said, yes. I said, this is my daughter, even though I might not be a biological mother, but I will grow up, Fumi grew up with me. He grew up, she grew up in my house. And each time this issue of childlessness comes around, she will be crying more than believed. Can you imagine? She will start crying in our room. Even when I tell you, I go to your room, she will go there and start crying. When I go there, I say, so why are you crying? I say, I'm the one blocking you, auntie. I say, how are you blocking me? <laughs> But the day I got pregnant and they closed the school, she became my number one. When we got to her house yesterday, I said, you have to carry to Miss Baby. Hey, Jiro, I changed the diaper. I said, ah, no, mommy. I said, ah, she changed yours. You must change your daughter's diaper. And that was it. So I just want to thank God for tonight because it's an opportunity to tell people around here that our goal is God. No matter what the situation is, it remains God. But I want us to go to a passage in the Bible. I just opened it now. And um, Genesis chapter 21. Genesis 21. Verse 1. It's all the first verse. Because I said God is a covenant keeping God. And that's why I want to leave you with this verse. And the Lord visited Sarah. As he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. I won't say more than that, and I will not quote more than that verse. The Lord visited as he had said. And the Lord did unto her as he had spoken. Please watch and mark that verse in your Bible. Anytime you go into your room to pray, tell him, You visited as you have said. And you, you did as you have spoken. And that's why you're going to tell God tonight before I go to sit down. Lord, the way you visited that commentary as you have said, because I am a living testimony, you did not see Sarah, but you are seeing me standing in front of you. And I will not lie. Because if I lie, God is there as a witness. <laughs> what God did is marvelous in my I, I cannot tell you all the details, but it's enormous. But what I want to leave you with is, he is God. And he will do as he has spoken. If there is anybody that wants to cut God, cut God short from doing what he has spoken, God knows how to deal with such people. Because God dealt with mine. God dealt with mine. God dealt with mine. I stand as a living testimony that even in my husband's place today, people that were not greeting me before were asking for my card. 
Oh, you, you're you here with your card. Can I have your card? Is it not God? The same person that they said they should be driven out of the house. The same person that said, oh, she must have done to do to our son to marry her. Is still the same person standing in front of you now to testify of the goodness of the Lord. So we'll go standing up now and tell God, God, you visited Sarah because you said you were going to visit Sarah. You spoke to Sarah and you did what you, what you told Sarah to do, that you will do, and you don't did it. It is God. So challenge him. He said he honors his word more than his name. And we're going to use that as word to challenge him tonight. Is there any real that you need God to visit in your life? Is there any real that the Lord has spoken and somehow, somehow that thing that God said concerning you has not come to fulfillment? That's what we're going to challenge God on tonight. And I'm going to tell the Lord, I have come to this fellowship on this Sunday, 28th of July. I think I'm right about the date. Yes. 28th of July. Please mark it. That God, I want you to visit me as you have said. And you should speak that word that you spoke concerning me. It must come to fill me. Please, can you stand up and pray? Pray. Pray as you have never prayed before. Pray as you have never asked him before. Because this is the point of contact. I'm using myself standing in front of you, children of the living God. That God promised you one thing or the other. Is it a good job that he promised? Is it good children that he promised? Is it why a good word that he promised you? Is it a good husband that he has promised you? Lord, you promised that I will not lack under the sun. Why, why am I in need? God, visit me as you have visited Sarah. That word that you spoke, you, you, you said concerning me, let it come to pass now. It is now, I don't want tomorrow. It is now that you can do it, I don't want tomorrow. Lord, meet me at this point of my need. Do it right away, Lord. You can do it, Lord. You are able. 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 When you do a thing, no one can challenge you. Because you are God. Pray, my brothers. Pray, my sisters. My mother is here present. Pray. It's an opportunity for you to talk to him. We are fellowshipping with our God. God, my situation must be attended to. My situation must be attended to. My situation must be attended to. I don't want to remain the same anymore. My, my name must change. The Lord has already removed my name from the midst of the barren women. Can I remove your name too from the list of those in need? It is the same God who changed now. Father, do it. Father, do it. Father, do it. Father, do it. Those ones pursuing the children of Israelites, they perished in the Red Sea and they saw them no more. So shall your situation be tonight. Those ones pursuing your goodness, they will perish like those people in the Red Sea. And you will see them no more. He is the same God. He changed not. He is the same God that attended to the situation of Mordecai Arman. He is the same God. He changed not. He can do it. You are the Lord. You know be my Lord. I find 